today we're going to be talking about how to keep the fire going. You've already started the Streams of Life project in your local church. Maybe you've gone out once or maybe you've gone out many times. And your question is, well, how do I keep the fire going? How can I keep people's zeal going for this particular project? Well, I would say principle number one and way number one is just to keep the project consistent. You know, that looks different for each and every church, but I'd like to share with you a few different models that you could adopt into your church in order to keep this project going. One would be the ABCD model. This is where you do outreach every single Sabbath and you uh, uh, ask for volunteers to choose a specific Sabbath of the month. And then, so you would have group A on the first Sabbath, group B on the second Sabbath, group three on, or group C on the third Sabbath, and group D on the fourth Sabbath. And so that way you have outreach going every single Sabbath, but no one gets burned out because each group only goes out once a month. And this is the most effective way that we have seen on many levels. One, on getting books out. We have a church in Texas that's been doing this model for a little over a year. They distributed about 15,000 great controversies. They covered, they covered their city, the next city by them, and they're looking to do the next city as well. Isn't that amazing? And so um, it's the most effective way to distribute, but it's also the most effective way to get Bible studies. You know, every single time you go out, you may, you, you know, usually we get just a handful of Bible studies every single time. So can you imagine if you got Bible studies every single time a group went out? At the end of each month, you may have 10, 15, or 20 more leads. And if you do that all through the year, you have a consistent growing database of interest to follow up with. And then lastly, you get constant testimonies. So if group A goes out on the first Sabbath and they have powerful experiences, then on the second Sabbath, they share those testimonies in the church. That gets more people excited about the project. And then when that group goes out, group B, that second Sabbath, they get testimonies. And then on the third Sabbath, they share their testimonies in the church. And so this is the most effective way that we have seen to keep the fire going is through this ABCD model. But there's other ways to keep the project consistent whether it's bi-weekly outreach or once a month or once a quarter, I just encourage you, keep the project consistent and you'll see fruit happen in your church. Now, let's say you're keeping the project consistent and uh, you're still looking. You see that your members might be losing passion. You're looking for other ways to get them excited and to recruit others in the church to keep the fire going. And so there's a few ways to do that. I would say another way is keep them inspired. How do you keep people inspired? One is through organized, united prayer. Prayer meetings, whether it's early in the mornings during the weekday, or whether it's a special prayer vigil on the weekends, whatever it may look like best for your situation and circumstances, always incorporate prayer. Another way is to preach powerful sermons in your church about literature work about the great controversy, about the importance of follow-up, the importance of the three angels' messages. Keep your church members informed about the urgency of this message. And another way, you can adopt your, into your prayer, um, your Wednesday night Bible studies, uh, the great controversy. We have churches all across the country that are reading the great controversy uh, every week, and they're watching the five to seven minute videos that, you know, from the QR codes, uh, in each chapter, they link to these five to seven minute videos on our website, My Freedom and Truth. We have some church mem uh, churches that their members read the book in the week and then uh, during prayer meeting, they watch the video and then they discuss. And so those are different ways you can keep your church members inspired or whether it's ordering resources from us like the final warning booklet. We have a, a booklet that we've put together with many quotes about this work, whether it's getting something like that and then sharing it with your church members. There's many ways that you can keep them inspired. The third thing that you can do besides being consistent by keeping them inspired is also to change things up a little bit. When it's Thanksgiving, when it's Mother's Day, when it's Christmas, when it's Easter, when major holidays come up, organize the church to wrap these great controversies together and distribute them during the holidays. Whether it's going door to door, whether it's your homeless ministry, whether it's your thrift store, you know, uh, there's just many different ways, whether it's through its min uh, women's ministry or Thanksgiving baskets. Those are all different ways that you can still get church members involved in sharing the great controversy. And sometimes variety makes all the difference. So friends, all in all, just keep your church members in prayer. 
create a systematic plan in order to keep this project consistent. God has shown us that this is a work that He truly supports. And I know as you come to Him in prayer on your knees, and as you ask for more help, for more people to get involved, and as you apply these three things, you will see that the fire will keep going.